Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I've 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 taken in enough data. Your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, straight game TV. I've taken in enough data uh, that I can accurately come and give you some straight game. I've accurately taken in enough data that I can come give you some straight game. I'm going to wait for y'all to come up in here. Of Robert Brown, Lafayette, Indiana, in the building. Appreciate you. I done taken in enough data that I can now accurately uh, give you some straight game. And, uh, yeah. Nate, what's happening? Anthony Pleasant, Steve Frank. I've accurately taken in enough data. This is going to be one of the ones that y'all really want to hear. You might want to click that like button, click the share button. Um, because I've taken enough data in which I can now accurately um, speak on certain situations and things that have happened as of late and how people try to come and not give full context about what's going on, what's being said, and what's being done. DMC, Brownsville, Brooklyn, uh, Eric Davenport, uh, CDT, what up? Uh, B Dot, what up? Uh, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Frank, what up? Uh, Carla Shepard, what up? Um, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I gotta. Let me, let me give you this. Reggie Wright Jr. Reggie Wright Jr. He loves when people say his name. He's been begging. Fatima, how you doing? Uh, Kenneth Malone. But I, I, I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weave this web right here um, eloquently. Everybody hit the like button, hit the share button. I want y'all to understand something. Uh, there's a video that was made the other day over on Bomb First. I was going to do an actual video where I put the context into it, but I felt like that would be a waste of my time, if you will. But So I'm going to give it to you like this. And I think if you if you went over to Bomb First, I don't mind you going over there and, and, and checking it out. I w I'm going to give you this. So the other day, Suge Knight had Suge Knight went on Breakbeat Media a few weeks ago, and Suge Knight uh, had made an observation. Suge Knight understood that he had gave John from Bomb First, or better yet, Reggie had gave John permission to work on a few uh, social media sites for Suge Knight, if you will, right? Because the one thing about us African-Americans, sometimes, you know, the media can be used against us in certain kinds of ways. Um, and this is what Suge was talking about. So there had been posts over on Suge's Twitter page, right, involving situations about uh, a rapper's wife having an affair. All of these things that were unsubstantiated. Um, Snoop Dogg's lovely wife, Shantae, and him and his wife, right? By Reggie and John over at Bomb First. Suge had to issue a, uh, a public statement basically saying that he wasn't behind those accusations and all of those things. Now, in our community, Right, the hip hop community. Let's be honest. If it was not for Suge Knight, Reggie Wright would not have a platform to speak from. Period. Period. Right. So, how is it that Reggie would allow anybody, himself even, to mischaracterize or put out false statements in regards to what Suge Knight? on his Twitter page bearing his name would say about somebody else's wife, right? 
Right. So once Suge got wind of it, he issued a uh, a, a, a public statement, if you will, through some kind of um, publicity, if you, if you will, basically saying it wasn't him and so on and so forth. Later on, we come to find out uh, Reggie admitted that it was him. And and if they wanted the 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 the, uh, the uh, sign in information back, they know how to get at him and so on and so forth. So Suge went on Breakbeat Media, and Suge was like, you know, um, he you know said he never met John from Bomb First, right? Didn't really know who he was, and that he had done some work in regards to whatever I'm thinking being hired by Reggie, from that perspective. And then she goes on to say um, about, you know, how racist it was of John to be able to do that amongst black people and only referring to black people in doing that. Once again, Suge said he never met John. He doesn't know John. You have to understand that. So why is it with in having access to Suge's Twitter account, why would he then go and say something about some other man's wife, some other black man's wife, right? And not really knowing that man or even knowing Snoop for that matter or even knowing, and once again, so when Suge said that John was racist, we go into activity of the COINTELPRO, we go into activity of the divide and conquer. We go into the activity of uh, piggyback and export, exploiting uh, black people's affairs, if you will. We go into all of those things. So that's why Suge was um, speaking out against that from that perspective. And he had every right to. His name was being the one that was bad on the Twitter account. So what it appeared and the information had went viral. So when you go over there to look at it and you see Suge Knight's name, you immediately think that is Suge Knight has something to do with that. That he actually was the one that put that out, right? Okay. So there was a video done the other day. And John, gullible John, was mad. He was mad at he was mad at Suge for saying that he was racist, and they did another video and saying that he was racist. And in the activity, once again, John was not willing to take responsibility for. He was more upset at Suge's response and not at his initial action that garnered that response. You see, we have people wanting to play games. They want to throw the rock, then they want to hide their hand. How could he call me that? How could he do that? So it was not, um, the statement was not misplaced based on what John, um, as a Caucasian male, was doing to an African-American male who was already down serving 27 some odd years for something that he admitted to doing or, or had taken responsibility for, if you will. You know, may the brother uh, uh, rest in peace. Yes, sir. And um, so when you deal with that and you understand that, the other day, Reggie Wright Jr. went on his channel and was trying to defend John to a certain degree and basically saying, Sugar, well, why don't you call me out? Why don't you call me out? Why don't you call my name? Reggie is begging for Suge to call his name. Say my name. Say my name. But Suge won't do it. Because the person that was responsible for giving Reggie all of the, uh, uh, the ability to be on the platform that he is now, Reggie has gone against calling Suge a rat, a snitch, all of these other things. And then wanting to apologize, similar what he did to me when he sued me for something that he know I did not do. Because he said he can be that vindictive. I'm going to deal with that. 
So on this other video that he did the other day, Reggie Wright Jr. finally admitted. He finally admitted. And he said that I only go to the FBI on crooked mayors and niggas that I don't like. I'm going to say it one more time, y'all. Reggie Wright Jr. went on his page and said that he only goes to the FBI on crooked mayors and niggas and niggas that he don't like. And explained how vindictive he was and could be. Right? And so, he had the audacity to sue me in court, in federal court, for something that he know I did not do and something that he know uh, he could not win at. That's not only being vindictive, but that's being foolish. Something that he would later dismiss with prejudice. Right? It's not about being a cop. It's not about him. He's not a cop. He's a failed police officer. Stop, stop giving credit, right, to people who failed and saying that they wanted something. Because this is another thing. And then you go into the P. Diddy situation. Reggie has been running around claiming that he predicted that P. Diddy would be arrested. Right? Understand what I'm about to tell you. Reggie Wright Jr. did not predict anything. He made a wild speculative guess. If anybody could have known the serious accusations that Cassie made in her lawsuit and the lawsuit being settled so fast, it could only be inferred that there would be some kind of investigation. How far it would go, who knows? There was other people that you know, said similar things, but they don't want credit for um, the Homeland Security raid in Puffy's house. I told y'all, I told y'all, I, 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 I told y'all, no, there was a wild speculative guess. Didn't tell nobody nothing. But what he did tell us is that he only informs on crooked mayors and niggas that he don't like. Niggas that he don't like. You understand what I'm saying? It's a different type of tone when you then go on and uh, 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 degrade the man and she ignite. I'm talking about the man. I ain't talking about all of this other stuff that people get into with the death. I'm talking about the man. I'm talking about the brother that gave him an opportunity to feed his family. I'm talking about the brother that puts you in position, whether you feel for him or not. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Right? So then he goes on and tries to defend John because right now <laughs> he eating with John. See, it's whoever I'm eating with at that time. Right? See, the reason why a lot of us don't know who good people are or can tell or have a discerning eye is because their loyalty is to money. And I get it. You got to get the bag. You got to get paid. But there also has to be some kind of character, some kind of integrity, something that goes along with you being a man first. Because money can be had and gone. Earned and spent. But one thing that you cannot gather again is your integrity and your character as a man. I know a lot of people are running short on that these days. A lot of people running short on that. You know, and like I said, it, it struck me that Reggie would say such a thing like that. I only go to the federal or the feds or the FBI on crooked mayors. And yeah, 
niggas that I don't like. So what I was saying to you guys all along, when they first started attacking me in the name that I was calling him, right? It was true. It was true. Right? Some of y'all know the name. You know? And so now, where is it that he would then sue me for calling him that name, but then going out now and admitting that he only goes to the FBI and informs on crooked mayors and niggas, preferably black men, that he does not like. And so now, once again, you deal with the P. Diddy situation, and I don't know if you've seen the lawyer who actually came on another channel because Reggie Wright Jr. was trying to say that he predicted this P. Diddy thing down to the to the time and day that they would go in and actually make an arrest. They didn't make an arrest. Right? He wants credit for stories and things that he was not present for. That he had nothing to do with. Right? Now, the lawyer, it was a lawyer who was a former lawyer of Donald Trump on a podcast. They, they put it over there out on, on Bomb First. On a podcast, right? She said that this guy is not, he's not clairvoyant. Right? He doesn't have any special ability. You know what she called him? She called him a cooperating witness. Because she was insinuating that how would he know from that perspective, but she was not informed that it was just a wild guess. It was just a wild guess. Right? But see, when it came time to in 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 in, in shunning Suge, when it came time to protect Suge and Tupac in Las Vegas on September 7th, 1996, Reggie failed. But he won't talk about that. When it came time for him uh, um, that he was fired in a letter signed by Tupac Shakur and with Reggie's sign name on it, one week he'll admit it. He'll go on the podcast, be like, yeah, I received the um, I received the letter. You know, uh, it was August 27th. Yeah, myself and uh, David Kenner. And then a week after that, he'll go back on somebody else's podcast and be like, you know what? I, I didn't get it. I didn't see it. I didn't. How could I have got it? When he's already admitted that he received the letter, he knew he was fired. He knew in Las Vegas that he pulled the security off of Tupac. Because guess what? Remember, just like he just said, and in other videos that I did, he said that I am a vindictive individual. Y'all know how I am. Right? So how in the hell you think that he didn't go to Las Vegas in that night and intentionally pull the security off of Tupac Shakur, y'all? Now he's trying to get credibility for predicting things. Oh, I knew Keefe D would be arrested. They coming for Keefe D. Little did we know that he had already been down to the grand jury and testified for something that he wasn't there to witness. See, he could testify to something that he wasn't there to witness, but he couldn't protect the people that he was supposed to protect on that very night. And accept responsibility for doing that. Right? But then he can get on the internet and talk about Snoop Dogg's lovely wife, Shantae. And what she doing and what's her business. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You understand what I'm saying? And so when we deal with the facts of the matter, the facts, only the facts, right? There was no prediction. There was only failure. Then it came out. Once he, he went and testified in front of, the, in front of the grand jury with Keefe D, it came out that be a, he, had, he had been lying for the last 27 years. The next tell radios, 
They couldn't do that. They didn't have that capability. But he went and told the grand jury that the next Nextel radios had the capability of being a walkie-talkie. Then he goes over on Vlad, you know, and talks about everything and everybody, right? He won't talk about why he sued me. Why don't you talk about why you sued me? Can't talk about that. Because that's unbecoming of a man and you really don't have no excuse as to why you sued me. Because you're that vindictive. You understand what I'm saying? And so all of what has happened up until this point, right? The degrading of Shug, the guy who helped put money in your pocket, gave you the lane to be able to do the things that you're doing right now. You actually owe that man an apology. That man trusted you enough to let you put a, uh, a, a social media accounts in that man's name and you took and went against that man. You understand what I'm saying? You went against that man. That man put money in your pocket, man. That man helped you eat. Reggie Wright Jr. was out here telling stories that belonged to Suge Knight as if he was there firsthand. He did it again today. Talking about the situation with Jermaine Dupree. I told y'all that story. I told it a thousand times. You were not there. It was not your story to tell. It was Suge Knight's story to tell. So when Shug got finally gets to talking on Breakbeat Media, now we can understand and hear the stories that he have to tell. Whether you believe it or not, totally up to you. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and another thing, I got to say it. Um, the brother ought to dialogue. Good brother. Put money in Reggie's pocket. Helped him out. This man, Reggie Wright Jr., has been going against the man's content. You know, it says something about an individual man when you can help help him out, help feed him. You know, and like I said, and every time the brother Art of Dialogue puts out some content, Reggie then goes and then tries to um, degrade the man's content where well, he's only just interviewing people like they would interview people or giving the people giving their opinions and things of that nature. Come on, man. Come on, man. All of this is fair play. People come out, they give their opinions each and every day on YouTube. Reggie Wright Jr. said the other day that he was the only person that could talk about Suge Knight. Does he have a copyright or a uh, patent on the conversation in regards to Shield Knight? No. But we know the truth. And I think this is the reason why uh, Reggie Wright Jr. so upset. We know the truth now. Reggie Wright Jr. did not run death row and Shield Knight said so. For as many years as Reggie had been claiming that he did. See, the only person that would truly know who was running what would be Suge Knight. Because he's the only person that could actually put somebody in the head of that position. Like I told you, ain't nothing wrong with being the liaison. Right? But he said it was Michelle A. And I believe him. Like I said, you know, ain't nothing wrong with playing the middle man and you still getting the check for it. Man, hey, look, play your part. If it's a team sport, play your part. And hopefully you're a good player on the team. Because teamwork make dreams work, right? Snoop, Dr. Dre, Suge, Death Row, what that became, Tupac come along. That's teamwork, making the dream work, right? Minus all of the mishaps. But I had to make this video because it hit me, you know, that... Reggie Wright Jr. would go on camera and actually say and admit 
that he only informs on crooked mayors and niggas that he don't like, black men. And the fact that the matter is that he's over there with John, whom happens to be a Caucasian. And I'm like I said, I, I call a spade a spade and a ball a ball and a strike a strike too. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do that too, right? And he would be degrading black men like he's doing over there for a dollar. And he said it specifically, y'all. I'm not putting words in nobody's mouth. He said specifically in niggas that I don't like. Right? So how does one uh, want to be respected, gain any kind of credibility when Reggie has lied about so many things? only tried to attempt to then go and critique other people and try to call them liars. When he has been exposed, I've exposed Reggie in about five or six or seven different ways, not with anything that I've said, but his own words. Right? And y'all can go back over the videos on my channel and you can check out those videos. You understand what I'm saying? This Reggie, and, and this is the funny part. And the other day he did another thing, right? He 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 said, <laughs> and this is this is so he said on his he said, I don't know why we like to go and start calling people gay and, and start calling people um broke and all of that. And then he had to admit in the same in the same sentence as he was saying that, he's like, <laughs> bust out laughing. He said, Yeah, <laughs> but I do it too. Huh? Are you kidding me? So he knows, Reggie knows that he's been lying about calling people gay. He's been lying about calling people broke that he does not know, right? He called Jamie Foxx gay. He called Tyron Turner gay. He called a lot of people gay. He even called me gay. He ain't never met me a day in his life. Don't know nothing about me. Zero. Period. Right. But proceeded to call me names and I didn't even know who the guy was. You know why? Because everything that he had said about Tupac up until the point that I began to speak was lies. And I guess he could see it in me that this guy ain't nothing but the truth. So help me, God. You understand what I'm saying? So now is he's gay. He got gap tooth. He got big lips. You looking at another man's lips like that? I ain't really looking at, you know, I mean, I'm not, you know, I, that ain't why I'm here. Just here keep giving up some of this, this, this straight game, right? And so when we understand what it is and why it is, then you understand who Reggie Wright Jr. is, because he's confessed it. That's why I put the quotation marks in the title. He actually said that. I put black men, but he said niggas. Right? And let me tell you, the brother who Tone, my, own, my videos only get 3,000 views. Tone, with all due respect, brother, I got five hustles. Go look on my go look on my 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 uh my uh Instagram. I trade stocks too, brother, and I'm nice with it. And I'm nice with it. I do a few things, man. You know what I mean? I'm never gonna let a one-dimensional character who's been a failure at everything that they've done, police officer, drug dealer, uh uh uh, uh security for Tupac and Suge, he's failed at all of those things. The last draw right now that Reggie Wright Jr. has to win at is right now trying to condemn other black men and 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 now has admitted that he's an informant because he only uh, 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 turns the, the turns into the FBI crooked mayors and niggas that he don't like. 
but you focused on what he said about me getting 3,000 views. Well, let's 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 be clear. Let's be real clear and transparent there, Tone. Check this out. You ready for this one, Tone? Go over on the Art of Dialogue and see how many views I got. And see, that was the thing that got him up in arms. 500,000, 300,000, 200,000. Right. I wasn't even doing YouTube. <laughs> see, he got you focused on the little shiny object, Tone. You ain't really focusing on the big picture. I'd like to bring that to your attention. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So when we talk about what it is, you got to understand. But more importantly, Tone, let's not get off the subject of why we're here today. Like I told you, Suge Knight's Twitter was hijacked. That's why Suge Knight said the racist thing. He was not trying to be uh, 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 degrading or any way. He was saying that the, 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 the behavior itself in dealing with us as black people and John being a white guy, right, being a guest into the community. And you got a lot of people that respect John. I'm not we're not going totally what's the name, but the behavior that he did in allowing Reggie to mislead him or wanting to follow along in order to try to galvanize views under Suge's night name from Twitter to go over to bomb first. And then putting videos on Bomb First, on the Twitter account from Bomb First under Suge's name, it made it look like Suge Knight co-signed that. Or he had some kind of control of that. And that was lying. That was misleading. That's why Suge said that. That's why he made the statement. You see? But when they came back, they left out the context of what that really was and why he said it. Acting as if Suge Knight was just calling him out, you know, just to call him that, to call him that. You understand? And so, like I said before, as you've seen, Reggie Wright Jr. filed a lawsuit against me that was frivolous. He then dropped the lawsuit with prejudice, meaning it can't become, it can't be uh, brought back up again. Right? Then for, for, for calling him a name, but then he would then on the other side. Now, let me let me give you this. Let me give you this. Because it seems to me in the videos that they put out that John was a little bit upset about Suge Knight calling him a racist. But I got to ask you this, John. I got to ask you this because I, I, I really don't know because the hypocrisy is glaring, man. Let me let me let me ask you this. Were you upset with Reggie when he called? Tyron Turner gay. Better yet, John, were you upset when he called me gay and you knew for a fact that Reggie didn't know me? Were you upset when he called me the groupie? Were you upset when he called all of those other people names? Were you upset with that? No. Because if you were upset with that, Oh, were you upset when he called Eric Sermon gay? Were you upset when y'all put up a picture of Dr. Dre and Eric Sermon in the studio having fun, laughing, and having a good time? Trying to insinuate that the picture that y'all put up on y'all picture on y'all page with Dr. Dre and Eric Sermon was, was was were you upset, John, then about Reggie saying that about Eric Sermon and Dr. Dre? Were you upset when he called Keith Murray gay, John? You weren't upset about none of that. So how do you now go on your page and ask Reggie to defend you? It seemed like he's just throwing shots at me and, and I haven't done anything. Of course you have. You're complicit. And you know exactly what you're going to ask Reggie before you ask him. And you act like you don't know. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing how John could allow Reggie or Reggie could allow John to allow him to degrade all of these other black men? To degrade all these other black men. But when Suge, when Suge was wronged and spoke out and how he felt about it, now all of a sudden Suge's a pariah. 
Oh, Suge's the big bad boogie man. Come on. You got to be kidding me, man. And see, so when a black man goes over there and you go on their platform and you go over there and talk to them, you got to understand what's going on. This is shenanigans, man. This ain't about nothing real. This is about I'll say one thing one day and then apologize it for the next and then keep the thing that I set up the other day up so that I can get paid from it. Amazing. So that I ask that question and I ask it honestly. Did John get mad when Reggie was calling all of those other black men gay, homosexuals, and all of the things that he's been calling them? No, he didn't. Because even as of today, they have a video over there talking about P. Diddy. Now, me personally, I don't know if P. Diddy gay or not. Man, P. Diddy could have sex with rocks out in his backyard. I wouldn't give a damn. That's his business. It wouldn't matter to me not one bit. You understand what I'm saying? But to try to exploit that in the namesake of being degrading, right, is a whole nother thing. And then try to act as if you predicted that and you were the only person in all of the 8 billion people on earth who predicted that. As if he's clairvoyant. I told y'all. I told y'all the Suge Knight story about Jermaine Dupree. It wasn't your story to tell. It was Suge's story. He was there. Misleading people in the titles. Tantamount to clickbait. Right? But like I said, I had to make this video to get you to understand what has been going on. What has been going on. And so when I called Reggie that name, he's now come out of the closet with the fact and left it beyond any shadow of a doubt that the only people he going to tell on or inform to the feds are crooked mayors and niggas, a.k.a. black men, that he don't like. Yeah, it is hella weird, Christopher. You understand what I'm saying? We need to, listen, man, we need to be careful about the garbage that we support. We need to be careful about the garbage that we taking in because garbage in is garbage out, man. And we want to be informed about what it is that's going on. When I say something, I don't speak for or against anything. I'm just trying to deal with the information that we have at hand. And as a group of people, when we come together in this 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 forum here on uh, uh, YouTube, right, we can talk and speak eloquently and intelligently about it, whether we agree or disagree, right? But when we walk away from this situation, we are more informed by each other in exchanging information with each other, right? Than we were before we came into this uh, uh, this gathering here in this chat. And so, like I said, I had to do this video based on what has been happening and what's been going on involving the situation with Reggie Wright Jr. Because once again, he's been seeking credibility for stories that he hadn't lived, stories that he wasn't present for. But then when questioned about the story of all stories about September 7th, 1996, he turns into Scooby-Doo. I don't know. I, you know, it was Frank Alexander. You know, and it was Michael Moore. And then to talk ill of Frank Alexander and Michael Moore, even though they're dead. When in fact, we seen what the video showed us. We seen the fact that Frank Alexander was right there next to Tupac. Frank Alexander pulled Tupac off the fight at the MGM. Frank Alexander actually did his job. Tupac had Frank Alexander with him that night because Frank Alexander was going to go with Tupac when Tupac left death row. That's a fact. 
Reggie didn't want Michael Moore on Tupac because Reggie had been fired approximately 11 days earlier on August 27th, 1996. So it is through insubordinates, it is through uh, 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 malfeasance, it is through uh, a deliberate, disobedient, uh, disobeying the, a direct order by Suge Knight to send more security guards. And the, and, and the cold part about that is, if y'all didn't know, Reggie was trying to switch out the date in which Tupac sent the letter trying to push it back to June because he didn't want people to know that it was that close to when Tupac got shot. You see what I'm saying? Because if you get all of the dates and everything together in the timeline, you're going to see it exactly what happened. That he pulled the security off Tupac. Right? He disobeyed the order. And because of that, and not having adequate security, Tupac Shakur was murdered. It's that simple. It starts with security, man. If security does not do their job, you're going to have a problem. Right? And security is not only protecting people uh, uh, to, to protecting uh, the celebrity or the 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 the, uh, the high value target, security is not only protecting uh, the people uh, or the, the target from people, right? But it's also the other way around, protecting the target from themselves and anything that they might not be aware of or could possibly get themselves involved with. It's that simple. And Reggie Wright Jr. failed at that. He failed at it. He's a failure. He failed at drug dealing. He failed at money laundering. He failed at protecting Tupac and Shug. Right? He's failing at this YouTube thing because he's being caught so many lies. It's not even funny. And let me be clear. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not none of those things. I don't have beef for nothing. I come to give you nothing but straight game. Straight facts. If I'm wrong, if I get it wrong, I'm not scared to say, yo, I got it wrong. I stand corrected. I'm a man. I'm learning. And that's what we all here to do. Right? But Reggie Wright Jr. does not get any credibility from Tupac. Or from Suge Knight, because Reggie failed Tupac and Suge Knight on September 7th, 1996. And then only to go and try to double down because of the consciousness of guilt, right? Go and sit in front of the grand jury involving Keefe D and then try to give up like he's given up some information involving Keefe D like he knows something. When he don't really know nothing because he wasn't there because he failed him. Not only that, he took he took a uh, 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 Yasmin fool of Yaki Gaddafi down to the police station against the man's own mother's will. He didn't even tell the woman that man. He didn't have permission to do that. That was partially the reason that Yasmin Fula released that 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 uh, that fax showing the Tupac fired Reggie. Because Reggie had kept, he was, he kept disrespecting her. This woman didn't do nothing. To, this woman is, listen, man. Listen to this, man. Reggie Wright Jr. Took Yaki Gaddafi down to the police station after Tupac's situation happened against Yaki Gaddafi's mother's will without her knowing at that particular time, right? Which was wrong, flat out wrong. You can't offer nothing. Reggie, for so many years, had been talking so greasy about this woman, about how she was this, how it was that, how um, Tupac had fired her, and none of that, absolutely, positively, none of that was true. Tupac never fired Yasmin Fula. 
Yasmin Fuller was on the job and on point till the day Tupac died. At the hospital, involved, there, present, and Yasmin Fuller was Tupac's like godmother, auntie, family, right? Reggie Wright Jr. went out on the internet and started speaking ill of this black woman on his friend's, his friend John's uh, 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 bomb first. <laughs> Not only that, it was a name that they stole from Tupac's first song off the Machiavelli album. Let's be clear about that. See, that's another thing that we're talking about, right? Right? When we're talking about being creative, thinking for your own, and doing what you need to do, right? So as Reggie kept on disrespecting a grown 70-something-year-old former Black Panther, uh, a woman of substance, woman of character, woman of dignity, woman of uh, uh, integrity, she said, you know what? I'm going to let the world know what they've been thinking about that is actually true. And she put the facts out. Reggie wasn't expecting that. After she put the, the facts out, here come the denials, you know, because yet they they even went so far as to say that they were they were in communication with Yasmin Fuller about her coming on bomb first. <laughs> look, look, man, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Right. After talking all of that stuff, doing that with her son. Right. And so when it came out, that's the reason why it came out. That woman was quiet, minding her business. Praying about her, missing her child. <sighs> Man, you know, the same thing in the Feeney. You know what I mean? You know, oh, the, you know, I, I talked to the, I talked to the, to the, uh, to the, to the estate. Right. 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 Okay. You know, that's a whole nother conversation involving that. But like I said, I made this video. I made this video to give context, not only to share what has happened to me involving a, a, a Reg Wright Jr. and suing me and filing a frivolous lawsuit that was dismissed and uh, uh, with prejudice based on the fact that he knew it was frivolous and petty and vindictive because I was saying something that was actually true and it was getting to him and he was doing nothing but lying on me and it didn't affect me at all because I know who I am, right? So I say this to you. I say this to you. If you're a black man, and you're dealing with Reggie Wright Jr., right? Be careful, man. Be careful. Because as he said out of his own mouth, he said, I only inform on crooked mayors and niggas that I don't like. And what I mean by inform, he's saying to the FBI, and he said that out of his mouth just the other day. And he has been begging, begging for Suge Knight to say his name. He wants credibility from Suge so bad. He wants Suge to say his name so bad. He said, yeah, say my name. Say, say my name. You know, you can come at me. You know, I, 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 and then, then, then how he got to the part about the black man and the crooked man thing. He was like, I, I won't respond with anything that, 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 that was done illegally. And then he goes into certain situations and things that the public doesn't know about tantamount to what people would consider dry snitching, right? You know, that's a street term, right? When you, you, you say you ain't going to say something, then, then you go into saying a little bit about it, right? To infer into something. Amazing. Yeah, he wanted to be sure. Yeah, but like I said, once again, it's not even about being sure. It's all about being yourself. Reggie hasn't wrote a song or wrote a poem or, or made a beat. You know, none of these things. He's done nothing. 
Like I said, failed that drug dealing, failed that money laundering, failed that protecting Tupac and Shug. Right? Failed at being a police officer. And now he's failing his community. Well, he's already done that. But better yet, he's failing himself. And like I said, at the end of the day, when we deal with the facts, Tupac Shakur did not like Reggie Wright Jr. Tupac Shakur did not uh, 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 like crooked police officers, period, as we've heard so many times in his music, right? Reggie was not a friend of Tupac. Reggie was just security. Suge Knight has confirmed these things. Reggie did not run death row. Reggie was not the general manager. None of those things. None of them. And like I said, to get on any other platform and talk about people who have assisted him, who has helped him in any kind of way other than positive, if you ain't got nothing to say, if you help me out and you help me out in a positive way, man, if somebody asks me something about you, you know what I'm going to tell them? We good. I'm not going to talk bad about you like that. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to give nobody else the 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 uh, uh, the luxury of benefiting off of me talking about another black man ill unless he does it to me. Unless he does it to me. Then I must come and share my truth. Not angry, but my truth and the facts. And then you're left to believe who you are left to believe. Sometimes you do need to speak up. I believe in that. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you can be quiet, you know, let people talk and talk and talk. But like I said, when I first began to speak up, it was because I was attacked and I never said anything in regards to Reggie Wright Jr. or Gullible John over at Bomb First. They began to attack me because they seen that the numbers that I was doing on all the dialogue were astronomical. I was like, whoa. And they tried to then take and try to criticize me and tried to take the video that I made on the audit dialogue that did like over 800,000 views. They tried to do that and do what they're doing right now to everybody. As soon as somebody say something, they take it and then they like, well, you know, such and such said such and such about this, Reggie. Did you hear about that? So what do you have to say about that, Reggie? Right? They tried to do the same thing to me, and it was a dismal failure. It was a dismal failure because guess what? The people knew what was going on, and they knew that, look, you can't deny paperwork that Tupac signed. You can't deny that. He signed it. It was duly signed by him and the record company, period. That's not me saying something. This is a material fact, right? They were mad. They were jealous. Right? And the same thing that's going on right now and dealing with the art of dialogue. They still mad. They still jealous. Right? You know, Gene Deal come on there. He stand what he say. Gene Deal was Puffy's bodyguard. I may not like everything he's saying or whatever, whatever. I may not agree with it. But like I said, okay, cool. That's what he was there. I can't, you know, not Reggie though. Shit. Man, you know. That, that jealousy and hate and vindictiveness just eat him up. You know, because, because you know, I, 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 nah, man, nah. Just admit it. You're a hater. You're a failure. And you hate to see other people win, mainly other black men. But it's cool over there with your boy John, though. You know, John is winning and he paying you and cutting you a check. You know what I mean? Oh, man, you're all for that. But let any other black man try to rise up and do what he needs to do and try to, uh, 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 you know, get his thing right. You know what he going to do? He going to hate on him like the crooked mayor. He going to inform on him like the niggas that he don't like. The niggas that he don't like. And this is what he said out of his own mouth, y'all. The most disheartening shit that you probably could ever say. 
I only form on only inform on crooked. I only inform to the FBI on crooked mayors and niggas that I don't like. And I tell you this, and I leave you this. Reggie Wright Jr. didn't predict anything about P. Diddy, anything in regards to that. It was a bunch of people that I heard, you know, you know, basically saying, yeah, something going to happen. And with the Cassie thing, when it first came out and all of those things. And, and, and like I said, you know, from that perspective, he didn't predict anything. So much so that the, the, the lawyer from on that podcast basically said, no, he he didn't predict anything. Right. She must have had some kind. She must have had some clairvoyant, something clairvoyant going on because she said, no, he didn't predict anything. <laughs> He's a cooperating witness. Now, you want to call you want to call something accurate. You want to call predicting something and not really knowing about a person. I would think that that lawyer had it right. Wouldn't y'all? Because of his own words. Unless she did a little research, too, and to who this guy is who Reggie Wright Jr. is, right? But like I said, I just wanted to leave you guys that. I appreciate you guys coming in. Yeah, she exposed him, Tone. She actually exposed him. You know what I mean? Like I said, more importantly, we got to be careful about the information that we take in, brothers and sisters. Y'all, you know, like I said, once again, it's cool to support people you know what I mean? Support people who, who who actually out here trying to make a difference, man. And like I said, it's all it's all what we're doing right now. We're talking about it. We're talking about it. You too, Carla. You know what I mean? We're we talking about it. But like I said, at the end of the day, you know, when you hate your own people that much, that you would say, in Reggie Wright Jr. saying, I only inform to the FBI on crooked mayors. Yeah. And niggas that I don't like. AKA black men. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Your boy Delray. Straight gang.